This is a 1957 Corvette. It's the last year of the simple single headlight design and the first year of Corvettes or Chevrolet's fuel injection. Uh, I'm the custodian of it now and have been for the last five years, but the car was originally built by David Hewen, who, is, uh, who has rebuilt probably 20 57s and was a member of the NCRS Corvette Club Board of Directors. He uh, spent a lot of time buying NOS parts from Chevy dealers around the country and then he would hoard the parts and then when he did a rebuild he'd have all original parts to put back on it. And the case in point, when we get to it, you'll see a sticker on the convertible top that was an original convertible top from the uh, 50s. So he went through, uh, rebuilt the motor. It's all, they weren't numbered at the time. They had codes, and so this was the correct codes uh, on the engine, transmission, rear end, right tires. He did a fantastic job under the hood, in the trunk, and on the interior. One of the things that very difficult to find is original tires from the 50s and these are reproductions. When Dave entered this in the Duntoff competition, it was a 99 point Duntoff car and uh, Although I didn't talk to Dave about that, I'm thinking that the tires were probably the only thing that they could find wrong with the car. These don't make good drivers. They're heavy, there's no power steering. If you're tall, they're not so easy to get in. You kind of got to go in head first. Once you're in there, it's comfortable enough. Most of the time when you see people driving these, they'll have the tops down because it's just easier to get in and out of. They make a nice noise, but they ride like a car made in the 50s. Beautiful, but crude in their own way. Yeah, 1957 was the very first year that Chevrolet uh, put fuel injection on any of their cars and the Corvette was the first one to get it. After that a number of other cars got it. Wasn't a big horsepower increase but the car didn't weigh very much so it it did what it was supposed to do. And Dave managed to get all NOS hoses, electrical lines, connections, The other thing that Dave managed to do was he had been involved in Corvette so long that that license plate, 57 Vet, is still registered to David Hewen. 